got BS16i app running on an iPad. Uh, the DigiGurdy is connected to it using the uh, Apple camera to lightning plug adapter. Um, there are cheaper ones on eBay. I don't know if they work. This is the official one. It's not cheap. It's about $35. Um, now, I'm working my way through this, but if you click this button here, one in there, right, you get to set up. Each one of these is a channel. And if you notice, I've already got managed to get, whoops, low G, because it won't focus, low G melody on channel one. So now channel two, uh, this is, I'm, I'm playing around here, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. We'll click that. Right, we get a whole load of options come up. Um, I'll try clicking on library. There we are. Now I've managed to, if we take one of these unused libraries, because I've just set library two up as the, uh, as my sound font file for the, um, DigiGurdy. So let's just say we're doing it for library three. You click that. No, so you click the I, right? And then it gives you options for user libraries. Um, to get this one to show up, I actually had to click import wavetable file and it shows recents. And then recents is this one. This is the one I downloaded earlier from the WeTransfer. Um, so it's the sound font. So I, I clicked on that and that actually worked and it put it in as a viable library so um, let's just go back where were we so we've got library 2 there we are and then you can just choose what string you want from these this sound font for uh, channel 2 so we want a drone don't we so we'll have something like I don't know a Heidi uh, Heidi drone there we are and it's appeared there as a Heidi drone so we can work through our our menus here in the normal way it, setting it up and we'll just set up the first five channels and then as you see you can alter the, the actual aspects of each channel so channel 4 it's currently stereo grand piano uh, so we'll choose the library we want library 2 is Vienna Alto modified 10 so we'll click library 2 and there it comes up so now I want to on channel 4 I want my buzz so we'll have Nige buzz loud there and then channel 5 was the key click you remember so we'll click there we'll choose our library we will choose not the default library we'll choose our hurdy-gurdy library and then we'll find a key click key click uh, loud key click there we go so uh, that's my five channel setup now I've just got to play around and see what they sound like I'm filming this with with one hand I'm trying to hold the hurdy-gurdy but if we crank sounds all right the uh, buzz sounds miles better if I uh, cheat and press the button so we can, uh, oh, can we play? Well, I have to say, that sounds absolutely great compared to the Fluid Synth app on my phone. Uh, it also means I can probably add um, two melody strings instead of the one. And we can have them an octave apart, which will leave me writing some more code for the DigiGurdy. But um, I'm actually impressed with this. This is about $8 uh, on the App Store. So this is called BS16i. Here is uh, Bismarck BS16i. Um, it will play multiple channels and... Uh, MIDI channels and you, it will also use sound fonts so this has the potential to work with the DigiGurdy. The other great thing about this is it remembers when you reopen the app it remembers your last settings so you can see it's still got the if it'll focus come on camera there you go it's still got the channels set up those five channels as they were before. It's in demo mode and see what happens
key clicks a bit loud, but we can turn that down. <laughs> 